In today's video, I'm going to be replacing this water nipple. As you can see, it's very rusted. So first thing I needed to do was turn off all the water to the house. So I went outside to the main line and turned it off from there. And you can see that I have went to the kitchen to try to drain the rest of the water that are currently in the line right now. So after doing that, next thing I want to do is turn off the pilot light. So the water heater will be turned off and for extra safety measures, I want to go ahead and turn off the gas to the water heater as well. So with everything completely off from the water heater, I feel like it's safe enough to go ahead and start working on it. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and take off the water line, but I'm going to turn the shutoff valve to close to make sure that when I take off the actual, when I disconnect it from the water nipple, that no water is going to start to leak out. But I do have that rag there just in case. So you can see that I'm starting to go ahead and twist off the water line to the water heater. That was a process that wasn't that hard Thankfully, it wasn't, you know, too tight. Um, water was coming from the water line, though, so maybe it should have been a little tight. I don't know. I don't know if it, I honestly don't know if the water line had broke a little bit or something else, but I do know that the water uh, leak was coming from the water line. So let's go ahead and move that out the way. And now that's been moved out the way. I can go ahead and start to use this pipe wrench to go ahead and move or, you know, disconnect the water nipple from the water heater. I don't really know why this particular pipe wrench works so well with this uh, water nipple because there's nothing that the teeth can really catch on to. Like the water nipple is completely smooth. And um, yeah, like I said, I don't know why it works, but it does. And it seems to be the only thing that will work for it. So you'll definitely need one of these in order to have this work. So as I'm turning, of course, it's going to get easier to the point where I can start to turn it with my hand and then take it out. And as I take it out, you'll see that there is a water line that is attached to the water nipple. So I gotta take this off. Yeah, it's a pretty long water line. And you see just how rusty that water nipple is, especially in comparison to the new one that I'm about to replace it with. Man, it's gonna be like 10, 15 minutes to get this pipe off of that water nipple but I finally got it off and then I started putting the Teflon tape and I put some Teflon paste up there because you know I just wanted to make completely sure that I don't have any water leaks from this kind of rush with the tap with the paste because I shouldn't have put it on top So I ended up having to remove the paste from the top of the, the water nipple. And also I readjusted the Teflon tape up there as well. And right here you can see my sister wanna poke her head in the video. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up this water nipple. All right, so tighten it up enough. Now I gotta get this particular water line off. This was uh, somewhat of a harder process as well because I was trying to remove it with the shark bite. It's a shark bite connect. So I was trying to remove it with the shark bite remover that wasn't working. So what I did was use my adjustable wrench to help get it off. Essentially what I was doing was pushing the wrench 
towards the actual shark bite remover to help give it some actual force. The wall, unfortunately, was in a way, so that didn't make it harder. But at the same time, I was also trying to not, you know, damage the actual water line in the wall while I was doing this. But thankfully, I was able to go ahead and get it off without doing any type of damage. I didn't need to sand the water line from what I saw. So I just went ahead and just pushed the new water line back on. I got the exact same one as the old one to make things easy for me as somebody's talking to me on this uh, particular, uh, at that particular point in time. But push it on and then all I gotta do is put back on some Teflon tape, some Teflon paste and then go ahead and twist this back on. As you can see, I thought the, I thought the video, I thought the camera was a little higher so it wasn't getting my head, but it, <laughs> it clearly was because my head, it keep getting in the way. So uh, as I start to tighten this up, unfortunately, you'll see that my head starts to kind of get in the way of that. So I ain't really show too much of me tightening this thing up. I'm trying to hold the water line as I tighten it up so the water line doesn't move and get twisted up because it was starting to do that before. You got one more turn. I get it in there. You don't want to over tighten this, by the way. So give it, make it tight, but not too tight. So after doing that, Go ahead, clean up the rust around it. The last thing I need to do is go ahead and check to make sure that this doesn't have any leaks from it. You can see that the water valve is still in a closed position. I want to make sure that it was in closed position because when I go turn the water on, if it's going to leak, at least it'll leak at the top and not the top and the bottom. So I want to start there. I have my nephew. Go ahead and watch it. All right, so there was no leaks. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn the water valve to, you know, to open it up. So water actually comes inside of the water heater. As I do that, then I'll start checking for any leaks. All right, and I didn't see any leaks, so all I have to do is, you know, turn back on the, the gas and then turn the pilot light back on and then everything was good. And you can see how rusted it got before I actually decided to change it. But there are no leaks to the water nipple, or coming from the water nipple anymore. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, hey, leave a like. I'll be having more, uh, fixes, repairs, house repairs, car repairs, other things like that. So check out the channel. Thanks for watching.